I mean, the first thing is to say you're n- you're not alone, and um, that you know, I, there there are people and ways, so many ways that, um, and it it's said so often, you know, that there are ways to to um, to to reach out and. Um, but it, it's hard to think of it as being a reality, you know, whether you're abused or, you know, uh, you just need help quitting smoking or something. You know, there, there are websites and hotlines for, for anything. And as much as there's not enough education and there are so many problems, there, there are so many ways to, to deal with it. And, you know, there, there are um, – it's hard to aff- – it's hard to afford sometimes, you know, the, the care, but there are ways to even get around that. And uh, there are, are people that will, you know, people who work very cheap and will work with you, you know, if you – and even – it's just like there are so many people with these issues and um, so many cool people with these issues. And these issues make you cool in your own way. And it's like to, to think that you're not going to be – what you want to be perceived as because you have one of these issues is, I think, one of the main things. But it's not something you have to worry about because in the end, it becomes a plus. I mean, like, in my band, it's almost now, like, I have to work not to being stereotyped as, you know, like, it's gotten me acclaim for being, cra- for being you know, it's like now that I've become proud of it, like, I have to work to to, to be like, I'm, you know, there's a, there's a, you know, it's like, it's it's like it can be so accepted, you know. You don't have to feel alienated about it. Like it could be, it could be something that people are like, "Wow, this guy's really awesome because of this," you know. And that's something you want to be able to tap into all your um, your strong suits.